Good evening and welcome back to Timberborn, where we're going to do uh, less talking and more building in this episode. So let's start off by talking because that makes perfect sense. Um, I want to start off by saying thank you to everybody who did comment in the previous episode. There were lots of comments, lots of things there. Um, uh, I'm, if I ever do another talking episode like that, I will absolutely, I will try and avoid it completely, but I will absolutely put the little disclaimer at the start as well because I know some people don't enjoy them, others do. So yeah, um, but thank you for all the comments and all the things and and everything we're gonna do here. So what about this here? What we're we gonna do here? This was the big thing that I was kind of stuck on as what to do. Um, well, we are going to first and foremost delete the mine because we're gonna move the mines up. I'm also gonna be a little bit cheeky and I'm gonna move this mine over by one as well. Let's see why in a moment. So shift alt and z to bring up the debug tool here. Uh, go to demolish buildings and resources and you have a new option called delete objects. Clicky click. Yes. Object is deleted. Awesome. Okay. So off the cheat menu. Boom. Go to landscaping tools and I want to fill in this guy here. And I'm actually going to remove that one so I know where it is. So that means that the uh the, the mine, the top corner of the mine is there. Okay, which leaves a three gap here. Now why a three gap there? Uh, also, I'm gonna prioritize this so your beavers come and do this first. Um, why a three gap there? Well, because um I want to put the storage on this side. So I've decided to go with, um, and thank you for all the suggestions and the ideas and the bits and pieces of things, and I'm sorry I can't cater to everybody's ideas because I can't do all of it, um, but I'm going to go with um, putting the factories on this side and the storages on that side. Because I also want to, in the future, I would like to try and build a big tank at this end that fills with bad water all the way up to the sky as far as it can go, and then have the water wheels come back along just like we've got this aqueduct here but then go down directly underneath them and come back again and then do it three times so we go uh let from as we're looking here right to left down left to right down right to left again i want to try that i want to try that um but that's going to be right towards the end of the series i don't want to do big mega project like that and have everything stop down and we're waiting for explosives and other bits and everything going, when we're already waiting for stuff to do here anyway so uh, yeah we're going to get on and make the land flat and then get the stuff in here and get the bits and pieces going there uh, i don't really know what i'm going to go for the goal of this map i think once we get food and stuff going i might just go population mad and try like a thousand beavers again or something stupid but um but yeah so the plan here is like this so i'm gonna put centuries in first because that's how that's how this works that's how this works so um so i'm gonna do uh one two and then over here i'm gonna do um three and four hold on, hold on. That would allow me to run power down behind them. This does affect our batteries. It means our batteries won't be able to load down, go down as low. However, I don't think we're going to need batteries. With the amount of wheels we have, and we have the power mod that turns machines off, turns buildings off when they're not in use, I don't think we're going to need batteries. They're just purely there because we can. Um, if I had set everything back against the edge of the road, we could have run batteries down uh, because they would be able to go down and sit onto the road, and that would, well, sit one above the road. That would have been fine. Um, but yeah, so I think I'm going to do this. I think I'm going to leave a two gap in between there. Um, although I'm not going to do it for the first one because it looks strange. So we're going to do that to make it look nice. The power is going to come out down into the back of these ones here. Well, it's going to come out down and uh, it could come forward into the back of those. So yeah, that would work. That would work. Um, and uh, then for the next ones, uh, because we have a four wide gap, I'm going to do explosives in the next one. We can do this. Uh, so I'm going to um, one, two, three, and then one, two, and three, like that. And then the storages will go the other side of the road, and we can put three storages in for this. Um, so, yeah, we'll put two in for that one there, which is fine. We'll just put two in for that one. That's not a problem. Um, and then all we have to do is, uh, obviously, we run a road down here. I can still run a road around the outside, which I kind of wanted to do just purely because we can, I think. Um, and then this one and this one have got this sort of thing here. So that's the only awkward one because of the size of the buildings. Um, I think everything else will be fine. Uh, and then like the next one will be metal because we're going to have metal working here. And we'll just do the same thing. Turn it around. One, two, three. One, two, three. Road goes around the outside. Boom. Road goes all the way down here. That's fine. Might move this. I haven't decided this yet. We could move this quite easily. 
Um, particularly we've got some other buildings that only have three tall, which we, we will have. So, metal. Um, uh, what about woodworking? I think we'll do woodworking next. So we keep the three, the, the, yeah, the, um, so we'll do the woodworking ones. Put those in. One, two, three, one, two, three. And what I should do as well, and I've just realised it, is um, I should put these ones to be very low, like this. Um, I kind of want the these done and the explosives done because we want those to be built. Um, but I'm not too fussed about these buildings at the moment and half the explosives. So go and do other things first if you have the space. For them. You'll do them anyway because these are being built afterwards. So the order's, yeah, the order's fine for it. So blah, blah, blah. And then I said power can come down in between them because it works. I think that's the last four length building. Explosives. Yep, so now we're going to go down to gears and lumber mills. So let's get some gears workshops going. And uh, they can do the same. One, two, three. And then we'll just leave a double gap in between them. Like that. And then we do the same for the uh, lumber mills. One, two, three. And a double gap in between them. And then one, two, three. So we move this. We'll move this to be somewhere else. Um, like I can move it over by one, which means it's not quite centered. Um, although, didn't we figure out. Yeah, we can move over by one so it's not quite centered, but we could still then get up to it, which wouldn't really be a major problem anyway. So, yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Let's delete this. We'll put in the uh, thing, uh, put it that way this time around. Two, three, four. Oh, no. Doop, 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 doop. There. Five, six, seven, eight. Nine. Don't need nine, I need eight technically, but I'm gonna build nine because yeah. Um, and then a road can go to that one there, and the power line can come straight down next to it. Um it will go this power line I suppose could come out this way and plug into either side. Um doesn't really matter, to be honest with you. That's fine. Don't even necessarily need um need need this here. Uh because I think we can get up in other places and things, so yeah, but then each one like this. So this is a road. Um, this will be a road with our industrial lumber mills like that. But um, and then the other side of the road, we will do uh, log. Then we do gear storage. Then we do um, log storage. That and we can put three storages in of each type all the way along. So yeah, yeah. Okay. So now these are built here. Let's pause the game again. Let's go into our um, um, Alt, Shift, and Z to bring up the menu here. There's a new option down the end, which is called Map Editor. Be very careful. You can absolutely break your map with these things here. Your mileage may vary, so do be very careful. Underground Ruins, and I want to put the Underground Ruins there. Click. There we go. Awesome. And then turn off that there. I would also very much recommend, if you ever do use the debug menu to do things, if I bring up the, um, the, uh, the, the, the filter menu here, have the game paused whilst you're doing it, because you can click random stuff in here and do odd things, and if the game is running, it can it can do strange things. So, so yeah, well, there we go. Okay, and now that's back. Look at that! Yay! And we'll do the same for this one. We'll raise it up by two. This one will stay exactly where it is, but it'll be raised up by two. That'll be fine. Okay, and then power. Power is easy. So we have a power shaft which will go that way. Put in every one of these gaps here. That's facing back towards the uh, thing. Uh, this one's going to be the exception to that because we have the ladder here. I wonder if we could put the ladder elsewhere. Mm -hmm. I if we could put the ladder elsewhere. We could put the ladder on the end here, couldn't we? And then just flip a building on the end. I don't know what the next building's going to be. That's kind of all the industry that I can think of. Well, what other problems have we got? Food. We've got any other buildings, have we? So we've done uh, explosives. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. We've done centrifuges. Uh, we're not doing the food processing uh, here. The food processing is going to be done. We could do the food processing like towards the end here and then start doing our food in this corner. Um, I don't think we're going to use the whole map. I think I'm going to fill the whole map with like fields and other bits and pieces and 
and uh, stuff. I don't have the housing optimization mod installed because it's not available on Steam yet. So um, we can't put beavers in the specific places where they're going to be. Um, so, uh, I can't have like fields spread out with with town spread out places. So we're probably going to have like a central town. Beavers are going to have a central town. Uh, we'll find out where roughly the center of the map is and we'll put a, a town in the center and bring it out. And then the beavers will just have to walk the distance where they're going and then they'll be surrounded by fields, which will be overkill because they won't need as much food as that. But we might expand, as I said, to like a thousand beavers or or more, or more, or even more. Yeah, who knows? Who knows? We're running out of... Uh... Yeah, running out of centuries or so. Um, anyway, uh, do, 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 do. so yeah, food could be done on the end here, but we'll leave the food for the moment. Um, we've done those three, so lumber, yep, yeah, done that. We've done that, that's fine. This doesn't require power, nope. This produces power. Oh, robots, we haven't done robots, which should really be done somewhere near the um, the metal, but that's okay. Yeah, should have really put robots in before the woodwork we can still move this this doesn't need to be here oh yeah i wanted to kind of move this down the end anyway because i wanted like a forestry one corner might be a forestry and then three corners of it be food so okay let's get rid of this here for the moment and this one as well this is wood so we'll get rid of the wood let's put in the robots i forgot about the robots now i want to have the standard three of these and two of these because that's how it balances and i will put storages for the things on the side of the road for it we also need a number cruncher do we need a number cruncher yeah i suppose we do uh, figure the number cruncher out that i'll have to go somewhere else uh, oh uh, also um let's actually build this shall we so let's go i don't think the rotation of this no rotation of this does not matter get rid of oh, that one but i don't want that one there bum and then this will have a connection like that but there you go there's the power shaft running down to that button and this will be the same we have power shaft running down the priority of this here so they build that there um, and they can get up here uh they they can still no they can't no they can't beavers can't get up here so there's no way for them to build this so we need to figure that out sooner rather than later um could have a ladder here going up Let's, let's do that. Let's do that. Let's put a ladder on the end here going up. So they've at least got access to the to the place. And I've got, I could just put a ladder behind here and the beavers walk around and bump and they, go, they walk up behind these things. We could put ladders behind them, but then there's no way for them to get to it. So, yeah. Um, equally, I could have come out by one and come down uh, with a platform and then had ladders go up to here. Uh, because I think you can put... Uh, you can place power shafts on top of ladders, so we could have just built a ladder up. Then have power shaft come out by one and go down. And then put ladders at each and every, every, every one, every update. I don't think we need that sort of... I kind of want to do that though, because I think it will look very good. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. I think that will look very good. Yeah. Um, stop. Stop for a moment. Let's have a look at this. I think it will look nice if we had a ladder going up like that and then we had the power shaft behind it so the power shaft would face outwards instead which is fine because you can still connect to all the buildings you have a vertical shaft on top like that and then it would have this that way and this there I think I think I like that I think I like that it's a little bit more but it's industrial and this is the industrial area so I do think I like that and it's, it's like a ladder going up the edge of a power shaft so and it makes sense the ladder goes up to here they can still build things I think I don't know if they can lean through the ladder to build that I'm not sure we will find out if not I'll just remove the top one they'll have to go to the top and build it that way so yeah. and then behind here we just put a t-junction in like that okay so let's um priority that one so they build that and then we'll do the same here so unpause go 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 okay yeah i like that i like that that as well that's uh i like it i think it's good i 
We don't. There you go. And then we'll run the power back along. Ooh. Uh, let's do let's do the power down on the ground first. Doop and then doop and doop. We're not need to have power here because we haven't connected the power up yet. Let's do that as well. Let's um run all the way across and then up the priority of that build because we need the power coming along here, please. If you don't mind. Uh And get to that one. Okay. I've got a bit, what about this one? This one, they can get to that one, even though it's too above the ground. So yes, so they can, in fact, lean behind that. I don't know if they build the ladder first, whether they can lean through, or whether they're going to build one at a time. Because I'm not sure. I didn't put the paramount shaft in first. I put the ladder in first. So we'll see. They need to get up there and build this anyway. So yeah. Okay. Okay, and then we want to put bots in down here. So let's. Um, uh, I don't want to put three in. But this might be an exception to the rule. I might actually turn this facing that way and go one, two, and three because it can be powered from the roof. This one can be powered directly from the roof. So if we go one, two, and three. And then we get the power lines, and this can direct, connect directly to the roof there. Does mean there's no uh, ladder going up to it, but that's absolutely fine. This one doesn't have a ladder. That doesn't matter. Oh, there you go, and then it will be powered directly. And then on the floor, we want to put in uh, two bot assemblers, because it's three to two. One there, one there, and then the center will do fuel. Probably gonna need more than one fuel thing. Uh, reach factory. Hello, 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 hello. Um, is it a grease factory? Do these not need fuel? To, to, to the iron teeth bots? I haven't made iron teeth bots in an age, so I'm not sure. Um, do they not require fuel? I don't think they... Okay, maybe they don't require fuel. This requires power. Oh, and it's... Why do it have to be lengthways? No, ooh, that's all right. That's okay. That's okay. We'll put it in there. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Um, yeah, okay. They are indeed building this. Awesome. That's cool. I'm going to build stuff on the top. Um, hopefully we'll use up all our wood. Once they've built the ladder, they can get to the top to build this. They can't build it right now. So, yeah. Okay. And then storage is the other side. Uh, obviously, for the first one, uh, we can put in tanks. Um, now, we're only going to be able to put two tanks in here, but that's fine. That's, that's not a problem. That's fine. All the rest of them will be able to do three, and there'll be a gap for a path to go down between each one. So for this one, for instance, which is making explosives, which go in a large storage, we can put one there, one there, and one there, and there'll still be a gap for a path to go down either side. So there'll be a path there, there'll be a path there, and there, 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 so on and so forth. So, yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's let them build this and get going for this. And uh, we need to get that going here. Oh, what's going on here? Uh, wow. Wow. Uh, pause all of those, please. We don't want to get bots going yet. Uh, did I not make them low? Oh, I made them high priority. You numpty. <laughs> you numpty. Oh, what was I thinking? What was I thinking? Um, let's make this a normal priority. I'm getting some grit. I don't know what this requires. I should look. Look, I've not done bots on the thing for so it was extract and canola make oil. Do bots need oil to run? Is that their fuel? Or do they just run automatically and they just need lubricating to go faster? Um, I know control towers can also make them go faster. You can spend science to make them make bots go faster. 
you might put some of these around they don't require power they just run automatically from your science they just use your science up so you might dot them around i don't think we can cover the entire and with them you need so many of them to do that um would be super difficult if i'm honest with you though it wouldn't be super difficult to do actually <laughs> um to cover the entire town with them can't really do it because of that but maybe we'll see we'll see if we want to make the bots faster they're going to be running they're only going to be haulers as well so it's not all that far all that different so uh right pause you as well so you take extract and canola oil and make grease okay now i have no storage for grease that's fine no it's not no, it's not. I would need storage for grease, wouldn't I? Do I need storage for bot parts? I know I should have storage for bot parts. I should have storage for bot parts, but do I need storage for bot parts? That's the question. Um, because yeah, we've had this we, we've had this argument many many times, but yeah, okay, okay, it's fine. Right. So why are you not building this anymore? Wrong get all required materials it requires planks and pause oh dear oh dear oh dear oh dear do we not have i bet we don't have many i don't even know where my plank storage is <laughs> i don't uh it's not there uh it's here it's empty uh oh uh oh uh oh and we've used up all the planks on the floor yeah okay that's fine that's fine that's fine. We'll start running. It'll be fine. It's, it's a small hiccup. It's a small hiccup. It's fine. Okay. So, let's let that build and let the thing do its thing. And that these just require logs. So once we get up there, it'll be fine to build them. Won't be a problem. Uh, we could demolish some old buildings and get some logs back, I suppose. Don't want to do that yet. Really don't want to do that yet. No, we'll leave that for the minute. Okay. Okay. So, um, yes. Um, uh, Luke. Um... The, those who commented on the previous episode, thank you very much. Luke mentioned um, with the aqueduct, having the triple aqueduct, or uh, an aqueduct come along, go down and come back again. I like the idea. I said, I'm going to leave it for now. We will do it again later. Um, I might also move the aqueduct to be here, um, lined up with where the, um, uh, the good water is. or wherever. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Basically, I need to test how far up we can go and still put a power wheel in. Um, and then from there, I can figure out whether I can put a triple in um, to do it. Because it still needs to be... Um, well, it, it has to, it, the lowest it can really basically become is three high off the floor. Because that's the only space we kind of have. And we have to put in um, the, the platforms here. Remember I said about the overhangs? If we put the overhangs in here, we could save having so many of these. Well, if I turn them that way... Um, for instance, or this way, and put them on platforms, that means the aqueduct could actually be moved to this side of the, the road, or that side. It could be moved left and right, with the pillars still being where they are. So, yeah, we can we can, we can can shift it over, and if we shift it over, that means the pillars can stay here and go up in the sky. The overhangs come out to hold the aqueduct, which means we don't have to leave gaps in between these to run the pillars. So, yeah. Yeah, um... Uh, so yeah, um, that would work there. Um, I think somebody else mentioned that as well. Um, yeah, let's just go through this. So so yeah, so that's that's the the whole thing. So yes, we will we will do that. So yeah, the aqueduct is a cantilever, not a not a support pillar. So makes sense, makes sense. Um, Ernest, uh, you mentioned about doing this sort of thing here, but yeah, uh, I think you mentioned doing uh, four factories up against the edge, and the storage is on this side. Um, which um, gave me the idea of doing the storages like this and then doing the storages the other side, or the factories like this and storages the other side. So, gave me the ideas for that. So, thank you very much for that. That's um, th that was that was the inspiration of this here, and kind of yeah, kind of stuck stuck to uh, the ideas that I had there. Um, Alcasa um, uh, mentioned with the the aqueducts that come out of the main one here for the sluices coming out there. I was trying to figure out what I want to do with it. Um, it's because I couldn't decide whether I want the aqueducts to be directly above where the pools are going to sit. So whether they be directly above the pool here or to the side and pour out the side of it. I think we're going to go with a three wide, one deep, and then do what we said with the aqueducts, the uh, the sluices 
um, uh, having them face, uh, having like three of them face like that. Um, uh, maybe even a fourth one there, just because we can. Like that. And that stops the water that comes down these ones pouring into the center. But this one can allow the center. And then this one will read the water level directly below it. So the aqueduct will be this height going along. It will read a pool here. And if the pool's low in a certain amount, it will open up and the water will just pour out the aqueduct. That's the plan. That's the plan. So, yeah, I think we'll do that. I think we'll do that. And I might do four of them just because it looks better than having a... Uh, do do a uh, levy there. I think four looks better. So it just yeah, yeah. We'll do that. We'll do that. Um, and they don't let water come back through them, so the water never goes back through an aqueduct, uh, through a sluice. So that'll be fine there. Um. Uh, yeah. The uh, so you also mentioned about having the uh, overhangs used here, so the uh, aqueducts are on one side as well. Yep, that makes sense. Um. Actually, like a water hang with overplanes. I mean, on top, not opposite. Oh yeah, so yeah, so we can have it. Um, have the water pour inside. I think that's, that's what you meant for that one. Yeah. Um, uh, lean towards underground storages, but yeah, but the, the, I've done the storages before. The main reason I didn't want to do underground storages is because we're already waiting for explosives. So to then have to wait even longer to do it to move the industry over is just oh no, just just build it, get on with it, build it, get on with it. That's what we need to do. So that's what I am doing. Yeah, actually get on with it for a change. Did I actually build a road up to this? I did not. I did not, so therefore you can't actually reach up there. So build a road. Aim here, build a road. Build a road. Uh, you don't have a road, that's fine. Okay. They can build that by getting to the top and building down, so that'd be fine. So there you go. Now, now we build a road, that means that our town centre, uh, wherever it may be, where is it? There. Actually has access to this road up here. Yay! Okay. Cool, right. Now they can build this. That can actually work. Hurrah. Okay. Um, uh, you also mentioned centrifuges would look better if we had just um, uh, two of them and two tanks either side of it. Well, if I do it the other side, it makes sense to have four of them. Um, and I'd rather have more than less, if that makes sense. So, yeah. Um, uh, and the overhangs for the batteries. I was saying about doing overhangs here. Um, so overhangs coming out. Uh, but they would only be at these points here. If I did the overhangs coming to the back side, so the batteries would be here. So the batteries are already going to be gimped by buildings above them anyway, but they're, I don't think we're going to need them. I just kind of want them. Um, yeah, Yasov, thank you very much for your comment. Um, I, um, for the smaller aqueduct lines, you could do up. Uh, yeah, so uh, Yasov's the one that mentioned that this, the, uh, these don't, the, um, the solutions that I built up there, uh, they don't uh, let water go left and right, so we can have them all flow through. Um, also mentioned that that's underground storage because I haven't done it before. I have done it in previous playthroughs. I've done underground storages. Um, it's very useful if space is a premium. This map is quite is a lot larger than you think, so um, space is not particularly a premium here. You can see we're going to get all of our industry buildings done on this side of the aqueduct. So you know, and we're literally poking out one on this side. So. All the rest of the map is going to be for that. So we're going to have like a big area for trees, like one one quadrant for trees, and then three quadrants for um, food, basically. And then in the centre of the, we'll, we'll, we'll leave a space for the town, and we'll figure that out. I don't know where the centre is going to be. Um, it's actually because of the way these aqueducts are, the centre is going to be in between two of them. So the centre could be marked by four pillars of uh, aqueducts. So uh, um, pools. So there'd be like one here, one here, one here, one here, and then that centerpiece there would be where it is, and then that would be a quadrant, that one, that one, and that'll all be food, mainly. Um, so yeah, hopefully, hopefully we'll, yeah. So yeah, um, and then uh, Zuigi, um mentioned with the, uh, the aqueducts for the water, uh, about having a column. I think I mentioned about having a column previously. I'm not going to do a column now. We're just going to have the sluices feed from the top down. that will be fine. Um, to build platforms over the roads and just um, space out storages. So, yeah, we, we could put platforms over the roads here and have storages above under the aqueduct. And that would still work for us. Not really going to do that because uh don't need to. Don't need to. This this is working fine here. Aha! Aha! Here's the little test here. So that is right. So they can build that. So they can climb up the ladders and then through the ladders reach to here to build that. Yeah. 
can't get gears either. I need to turn on gears. I don't know why you can't get gears. There should be a load of gears. Where's the gears? Oh, no. Gear. Oh, well, hold on. Where's the gears? Where are the gears? Gear? What gear are we in? Where did I even store the gears? I don't remember. Cassavus, mushrooms. Gears are here. We have still got gears. Okay, so we've still got some gears. So, but turn the gears on as well. That makes sense. So. Bum, bum, bum. You'll be able to get stuff. I'm hoping you you can build this. Please tell me you can actually get to build this because it doesn't look like it's doing anything. It says it's within range, but it might technically not be. No, nope, you can. They can. They can go below and reach above. So cool. Okay, they can build through the ladders. I was concerned that the ladder itself, the physical actual ladder, would block the build, but no, it doesn't. So cool. Awesome. Um, okay, okay. Um, as uh, we also mentioned a mod um, which allows you to stack on top of liquid storage. I couldn't see it on the Steam list, so um, but we're not building underground anyway, so we don't need that there. Um, and uh, said about raise the mine and move the aqueduct and um, do this platform skipping thing. And so I don't want to move the aqueduct, just not now. We'll do that towards the end of the series. So, but anyway, uh, I think we'll bring this one to a close. And um, I was hoping to get the rest of them things built, but we ran out of planks because I didn't unpause the plank machine in time. But that's okay, because we'll build more planks down here. So, yeah. Um, yeah, we're going to need we're gonna need more planks, but I can't power the planks unless I do the thing, so I could prioritise planks down here. And But um, it's fine, it's fine. We'll get it done, we'll get it sorted, and uh, we'll come back next time, and we'll carry on from there. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. I hope you have enjoyed this one. And I hope to see you again in the next one. And until then, as always, have fun.